Uh, welcome to McGrew, everybody. Um, it's lovely to have you here. <laughs> also, my Arabic is like really bad. It's like a Bristolian Punjabi version of Arabic. So when I say stuff, they, like just kind of recognize what I'm supposed to be saying. Well, I am actually saying. Without you. Yeah. Hayya al al-Sala, Hayya al al-Sala. Hayya al al-Fala, Hayya al al-Fala. Except he does not call out for me. There, there is no space for me. Sajda, my form is a distraction. My forehead on the ground does not let my mind switch off. I watch my own back. It is difficult to look forward. It is difficult to be with Allah. I ask my husband how it is that he is able to offer up prayer, be in that space, forehead against the greenness of thread, minaret and dome spread flat against his breath, geometric patterns soft against his palms, and be outside of his body. And my husband, with his wondering eye, does not understand the question. So I sit next to him in Salah, and in my du'as I wish to be free of body. There is no real difference between you and I. We do not know it, but there is no real difference between you and I because we are all raised to be single parent mothers. From an early age we have mothered our siblings, four, five, six of them. Have Rokhi Salim ready for families of six, seven, eight, nine of them. Nine to five, no, we've got a head down, tapping incomes into corner shops, petrol stations, post office deals, balancing our worlds with our secrets and the hands of our boyfriends leave invisible promises across the length of our curves and hips and in the concealment of night. We do not know it. We do not know it, but brown women are raised to be single parent mothers, balancing our lives with everyone else's expectations, our dreams and everyone's expectations, our dreams and everyone else's expectations, our dreams are like trapeze artists, we are like many handed goddesses, with, like girls from whom childhood was all about the preparation of lack, emptiness, self sustenance, mini mothers, choti ma, the routine of food, the turn of key, the tick of clock, the swirling of spoon, clockwise. Anti-clockwise, clockwise, anti-clockwise, clockwise, anti-clockwise, the growling of men's bellies. My problem is not that I'm lonely. My problem is that I love too much. Because when my brothers were out raving to jungle, swaying to R&B, bouncing to hip hop, lips tingling with rum and coke, wet tongue exploring Lucy, Emma, Becky, looking for ways to escape their boxes, in the enclaves of others trying to fuck their way into power, we stood in front of the cooker at home pretending to be good girls. We watched garlic and onion broil in chili oil. I knew exactly what dish it was that made my sister give up on them. Clockwise, anti-clockwise, clockwise, anti-clockwise, clockwise, anti-clockwise, that spoon swirling. Juna never felt so goddamn disappointing. That liquid bubbling filling our world. My mother repeating. Who will marry you if you cannot cook? Girl, who will marry you if you cannot cook? It is the creating of comfort that you learn because at some point, Lucy, Emma, Becky remind your brother that he can be found penny a dozen in the packing shop. His skin smelling of curry, garlic, onion, chili, and the disappointment of his brown women and the realization that he will always be just a packy, these all hang heavy on him. So we learn how to give men back their importance, learn how to be a comfort to them. Yes, you have guessed it right, I am mad at brown men. Yes, brown men are all trash. <laughs> to utter doom the darkness about them all. My problem is that I love too much. My problem is that for our men, I hurt too much, so much so that it's made the dance disappear from the bone of me. Our men know how to take the vibe from the feet of our women, put the sound of chong chong out of our reach. I stand on rooftops, unable to separate myself from the beauty of the moon, even though it is the stars that set the sky at night. And I know this. I know this because you don't want me to dance no more. I've lost the rhythm of song, the song of drum of Natan Chala Darkan. I wake, I lie awake burning holes into the flesh of night because once I was a woman stone carved on temple walls. I was a woman with flick and twist, but now I lie awake burning holes into the flesh of night. And I dream of those women that I once was. And they are all fire and lava. And they remind me that life is for living. You exist, you matter, you exist here and they point at my temple. You exist here and they point at my heart. You exist here and they place fingers in my mouth. You exist here, a hand between my thighs, and here and here and here and here and here and here. Learn to dance again, girl. Pick up that damn fire, watch your skin. Wake it up with haldi. Smell that thickness linger on the curves of you. You are made up of hips and eyes and five rivers. Here it's core like the azan, deep 
And lo, that squelch of Zameen underfoot, you are the monsoon season waiting to burst flight, rice into our lives, they say. But I am wondering, I am wondering if she is even still down there, if she is breathing still, if she is moving still. I stay close listening to hear her song while her grave closing in, closes in on her. And no, you were wrong if you thought some Mughal sealed her in. You were wrong if you thought that she fucking did it to herself, stacking these bricks up around herself, cementing herself in, singing and humming to herself, I suppose this is what people mean when they speak of compromising yourself. Every day afraid of yourself, stacking those rocks up one on top of the other, thinking the sturdiness is going to hold shit together, but really you're just burying yourself. I do not even know how far down I have to go to find her or if she's even there anymore. If that light, that vulnerability, that Dia is still burning anymore. Until I hear a hum, a small tune, a prim pick of light. The whole time I thought she was singing to somebody else. This whole time I thought she was singing for someone else. This whole time, this whole time she knew what they meant when they talked about the burying of seeds. When I love Allah, I love myself. When I love myself, I love Allah. And for too long, too many men have stood between us. Today I take one step closer. Chum, 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 chum. I wait for those 10 steps back. Thank you.